the Houston Texans don't need to be in the situation they find themselves at quarterback. After giving up two first-round picks and mortgaging their 2018 NFL draft stash to take Deshaun Watson in round one of the 2017 draft, the Texans could be needing a new signal caller. Never mind that in September, they signed Watson to an extension through 2025. The Texans' placement in Pro Football Focus's quarterback situation rankings is proof the organization has made a mess of things. Rather than being in the low category, meaning teams that have their guy but just need a capable backup in case of injury, Houston is in the medium category, where teams like the Las Vegas Raiders, Minnesota Vikings, Tennessee Titans, and Los Angeles Rams also find themselves settled for now, but keep your eyes open. At any point this offseason, Houston can move into the top tier of this list or back down to the very bottom. The Texans' front office has reiterated on several occasions that the team won't trade Deshaun Watson despite his demands, but the franchise sits here at the medium need tier because it cannot afford to act like he is absolutely coming back until he says so. The Texans need a plan B heading into the 2021 season. The obvious best-case scenario is making amends with Watson. He is fresh off a season in which he was one of the three highest-graded quarterbacks in the NFL, 92.5, and is on the path to a Hall of Fame career. If Watson's mind is made up, Houston's attention has to turn to the 2021 NFL Draft and quarterbacks Zach Wilson and Justin Fields. Houston should already be in the low category. What kind of a world is it where the Cleveland Browns have their quarterback situation figured out way before the Texans do, and Houston has their guy signed to his second contract while the Browns starter, Baker Mayfield, is still on his rookie deal? Speaking of the Browns, they have used five first-round picks on quarterbacks since the franchise was revived in 1999. Mayfield appears to have finally worked out, but Tim Couch, Brady Quinn, Brandon Whedon and Johnny Manziel did bupkis for Cleveland. It took them nearly 20 years to get a competent quarterback. Even in Houston's case, the journey between Matt Schaub in 2013 and Watson in 2017 was difficult. The Texans even threw money at the problem with Brock Osweiler in 2016 to no avail. It seems as though since the Texans have finally conquered the problem, they are taking for granted how difficult it truly is to find and keep the right quarterback.